Hello, sports fans. <laughs> Today we have a special uh, greeting for you. We have actually, have, first of all, uh, you're Nikki, right? Last time I checked. Then uh, I'm Ed, and we want to pan to our guests. Could you show them the blank wall over there, please? Thank you. We have no guests today. There they are. Yeah, hey, yeah. It's the invisible wabbit. Remember that? No. Thank you. Back again. I fixed my hair. Uh, so uh, we have an interview today that runs about 22, 23 minutes. You'll love it. It's uh, Sonia Perkins, who is, uh, she was born in Crimea. You know where Crimea is? Mm, sort of. God. Part of the Ukraine. And by uh, the way, it's yes. the, th not the Ukraine. All right, and uh, so let's go with it. It's very interesting culture and some of the things she's done. So, Sonia, take it away. We're here with uh, Sonia Perkins, and uh, Sonia is from uh, Ukraine. And remember, well, most Americans don't get it right. They say the Ukraine, right? But it's Ukraine. It's actually Crimea. Oh, so, yeah, but that's a section of the. Uh, uh, yes. She's from the Crimea, that's the peninsula. Peninsula. In the eastern part of it's yeah. in the southwest, but the eastern exactly. part of of Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and Chicken Kiev is from uh, Kiev, right? Which is in the western, the western part of the Ukraine of <laughs> Ukraine. Sorry, yeah. Yes, who oh. is it? Chicken Kiev. Mm -hmm. It's a dish. Oh. It's, it's food, right? Yes, it's okay. food. So you uh, you been here about eighteen years? Yes, first time I came to USA in 1998. Uh, but it took me a couple years to really decide that I'm moving to USA and I'm getting married my husband. So, yes. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad you married your husband because... Uh, exactly. You're... Me too. I'm glad to. Okay. okay. And good choice. Uh, you, you had some... What was that? Good choice? Good choice. I understand completely. Mm -hmm. So you have, you have two do dogs. You have two horses, right? Not call them dogs. Yeah. No, I, I don't know. I don't like <laughs> yes, dogs. I have... Uh, so when I met my husband, he told to me, Sonia, you will be very excited because I have two mini horses. I say, oh, I see these ponies. He say, no, it's not ponies, it's minis. They 30 inches only. And the most little horses in New England. And they're, they're at, that, that's their full size? This is their full size. I thought you had one and one, one of full size and one of the... No, actually they not grow like that. They're both full size, 31 inches, and mom and daughter. Daughter, the little Tiffany, passed away a few years the ago. The daughter died? Uh, yes, and uh, mom's still there, and I visit her all the time. She's still in Bolton, and everything great with her. Yeah. For those of you in Hawaii, Bolton is in Massachusetts. Yeah, Bolton. <laughs> and when people sometimes tell me, what your country for, from? I say, from Bolton. Oh, yeah, that's mm. a country, yeah. I know. I try to give them trick because they know my accent, so. Well, I thought you were from Brooklyn. I know. <laughs> I thought the same, but I am from... Ukraine. Uh, Crimea. Crimea. You know, there was a song, Crimea River. There was, but it's not the same. <laughs> not the same. Not the same, no. So, so you, you and uh, so uh, you lived in Bolton and uh, some other places too, right? Some yeah, excitement. Yeah, I live everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. She lives everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> she just moves with the car wherever it goes. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So, yes, I was lived there. When I met my husband, I come to his place, of course, and we get married and we was together. A few years ago, my husband passed away, uh, and I moved to a smaller place, which is Maynard now, but. Well, we don't want to mention that because exactly uh, no the, addresses, no person. No address. We don't. We don't talk about that. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Because no. the people in Hawaii go, Maynard, where's that? I don't know. Exactly. They don't know where it is. Exactly. And, and so when somebody sees mean. this program in uh, the Philippines, they'll know exactly where it is, of course. They All will. right. Yeah. So uh, you uh, you write poetry, right? Yes, I do. Actually, I start writing when I was maybe seven or ten. Uh, well, they but all merged together nobody not pay age. attention to this too much because like in my family my sister will write it my brother will write it but when I come to America like my husband really supported me and I uh, you know become member of club and I write my this is my first book in three languages Tatar Russian and English and, and soon what, I write in what, English what language is that in? for him the first what the, the first one what is it's it? a Russian well, Russian how, yeah, but English how, how long is Tatar. the uh, alphabet in Russia in Russia. 32 letters. And this is Russian too. It's my last one. So, yes, uh, I did some books and some of them 
was more interesting about America to Russia people because they wanted to know what's going on in America from first person who lives there and who knows it. So I had a website, I was write all these stories, and soon I find out that American people are interested about Russian life. And I write, uh, as you know, story, my Soviet life that I try to publicate maybe this year with some other English stuff. So now already my English book, a uh, book on English language with these few things on it. Poems, songs, and stories. You might hit the top 20. Who knows? You hear that, folks? Top 20. Yeah. All Biggest right. things that I like to do it, and I do it. All right. And soon what happened? Well, that's a pretty poor reason to do it. I know. Just do it. Just enjoy just it. Just do it and enjoy it. That's what I say every day when I do it. Just like enjoy Like taking out the garbage. I enjoy it, yeah. No, so uh, wh why don't we hold the books up? This first one is a picture of you riding through the uh, Cleveland. Is that right? <laughs> Do we get a close up on it's that? It's in New Hampshire or something because we was on bike. Uh, well, your hair then. is blowing in the wind. Yes. Uh, yeah. so. Looks like a summer picture. It looks hazy. Yes, okay. it's summer. What, what is, what's the name? Well, what's, who's this on the back? This is symbol of yeah. me. It's getting a little risky here. Yeah, a little <laughs> risky. Ooh. I know. <laughs> A lot of things. You can't see that. This well. is actually a book on Russian and only one poem in English dedicated to my husband. So all of this Russia and some pictures. Uh, you have photos in the back. And some pictures, exactly, some photos. This is. Is this in Washington? Yes, Washington, D.C. You see, saw, that? Right? I could recognize that. The Washington. Yeah, and there you are on a bike going, I got a bike. <laughs> yeah, with biker and bike. Yeah. We had trip. Uh, Harley Davidson had big parade on, in that year when it really? was. Mm -hmm. So we went to this Harley Davidson parade, or what is called? Like 200 Harleys come from all over and they drive through city, Washington. That Take was, us eight that got anything hours. to do with veterans or something? I don't know. Harley Davidson, I know. Well, that's the Related, company. yes. Sure, it wasn't Ford? No. Mm, so what, 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 what does this say in English? Chistitsa, it's peace. Translation, peace. So I always feel like I am piece of something, of country, of nation. Wait a minute, of you P-E-A-C-E -E or P-I-E-C-E? -E? Peace? <laughs> you know, peace, yes, Pe peace of something. This oh, is peace, like yeah, peace that's a piece of, of something. something. Just want to clarify that for the audience. Peace, we already know, we right. all want peace. Well, that almost happened. Jonathan? Mm. Hmm. Oh. That's about you. Then we have, uh, we have another. This is my first book, it's called My Soul. This book I write in three languages. It's Russian, my own language, native Tatar, and this is English. See that? Yes. Oh, there I am. Yes, they see <laughs> it. I'm proud of being uh, related to a few different places, different cultures, because I think it makes me who I am. It's cultural you know, environment. It's intersection of different things, different minds, spiritual. I, mm -hmm. I like all of this. No, that, so this is make me. The Tartars were where? Crimean Tatar, a small nationality that uh, lived in Crimea many years, was, went through a lot of bad historical memory, as a depression, deportation, and all this. But now they're back to country, and everything goes better, and everything, you know, getting back to normal. So original they place is Crimea. Mm. It's a li little peninsula from all Ukraine. But it's actually part of Ukraine and now part of Russia, but we're not going to politics. No, we're not going into politics, no. and I'm going to call Moscow later. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Putsi. <laughs> and this is, uh, well, yes, wait a minute, this is in English. I can. Uh, yes, this my is dedicated for my husband. You can tell even, yes, my number one. Um, I know that my husband was sick for a few years, and I still wasn't prepared for his to go away. And it's always said for me, and it's so many years still, I still miss him, and every day I miss him and will miss him. So I write this book dedicated uh -huh. to him. And Tiffany, it's another horse, she also passed away, same year when he passed away. Who passed? Tiffany, oh. yes. This is her name, and this is she in picture. So this book was most for friends and uh, family to tell them about my husband, not about me, not uh, my skills, but tell to them about my husband because he really, really nice guy was and will, and i always proud of him and can tell about him over and over again. I wanted them to remember him. He, he was in the military? He was in military. He what worked trying? in government many, many years. And he was sick 
for three years and passed away. It's a sad part of my life. Mm, sorry. Mm, it's okay. Uh, but it some things I write recently, I always write something, it all depends on my emotions, my moods, you know, my missing family things. So I find out that I write some couple songs in English, couple poems and all these things. What are the, what are the songs in English? What do they refer to? Uh, most maybe personal, like last my song was named Power of Love. I always believe that any feelings we have inside our hearts is give us power. Mm -hmm. Is it positive or negative? It's always give you power, make you more strong, make you willing to do more things. So it's uh, dedicated to my past relations. And I write this song. You're going to record it, right? I planning, yes. I actually, it's my, one of my plans. I like to write everything on CD in some studio in some point because I have maybe 10 or 15 songs. Ooh. Some of them Russian, some of them English. Um, some of them dedicated to people, but I like them to, you know, keep them in memory rather than uh, on my paper. Mm -hmm. So I'm hopefully this year when I go to Russia and visit my family in Liz, I maybe can do some part of job, some part of this writing in studio. Because they offered me last year, but uh, my time so badly short mm -hmm. to do this because you have to stay like one week in studio to write them down. And I have total two weeks for that whole cuts it three. Short. We can do it here, can you? Yeah, I love to, especially English ones. Yeah, yeah I love to. We'll uh, work on that. Uh, oh, I would be appreciated. So uh, you Thank people you send so that money in too. <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> to Sanya Inc. <laughs> No. I know. I really think maybe Soviet life stories will be interested for Americans because this is how exactly I went through all this in communist period of time and all the things might be this part will be interesting if I write in book and mm -hmm. present as a book. Musto can't be too happy over there now. <laughs> yeah, you know? I know. Yeah, I know. It's true. I mean, it's different, different life, different everything different set up. Every year I go there and see my family and every year I see big difference between my life now and their life. But I was there, I know this all. Like simple things like no water sometimes one day, two days, no electricity, five, six hours. Uh, booth uh, for bring uh, people and kids come twice in year, in day, sorry, <laughs> twice a day. So all these little things make uh, us Russians, I guess, this is what we are. Uh, one thing I can tell that I proud that I come from this hard background because mm -hmm. I can do anything. Mm -hmm. I can work in yard, I can do sewing, knitting, writing. I can be anything and can do anything. Just because life in Russia, Soviet life make me tough. You have to do anything you can. Um, and this is what, what we are. And life over there not change. <laughs> 18 years. Yeah, great. Every yeah. year, roads getting worse and worse. And well, it was independent. It's, the West is still independent. Yeah, we're not talking about politics. Remember? I'm sorry. Hey, uh, mm -hmm. Strike that from the record. Yeah, please. No. I mean, people still nice. People absolutely amazing. My husband was amazed every time we go there because neighbors and friends and mm -hmm. friends of friends will take him, feed him, share with him, give him whatever. And nobody not know English. But funny things I have to tell how my father and my husband talk with each other. Mm -hmm. Now, little point, my father not know English, mm -hmm. my husband not know Russia. Guess what? I was translating back uh -huh. and forth. And my father start telling funny story and I say, Pop, he not understand. <laughs> he say, it's okay, and <laughs> continue. This is part, he was laughing and telling and telling and telling and, and Roger laughing too. I say, why are you laughing? You see, because he laughs oh, so much, yeah. he make me laugh. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what it is. Do you, uh, do you want to, uh, uh, how long a poem do you have? Yeah, you I have, have a lot, how many you need it? All oh, about 600. <laughs> we, have about, we have about six and a Are half we talking minutes. about something? So, what do you got? Compensation, there? anything then? <laughs> what? <laughs> how many poems I'm reading? Oh. <laughs> okay. What's my, my uh, audience, how many poems? Uh -huh. Thank you. I know. Uh-huh. Don't avoid the question. A couple, anyway. What couple? do you got? Okay, let's do a couple. Some of them maybe will be said, but... Mm. I like them so far. Ah, uh, you like them so I far? I like so good. far, they're pretty good. I know, thank <laughs> you. You know what I always say is that uh, no matter what talent you have, 
you must put in any skills you have your heart. This is what I do, like my soul inside this. And I not think so, I write. I almost feel like God writing it through me. Sometimes it takes two seconds just to write down. I mean, what is it, talent or it's God's big bless? Oh, by the way, you, you do songs too. Yeah, I do songs too, you're right. I don't. Yeah, okay, uh, some of them again, a little bit maybe sad, but this is dedicated for my husband. <sighs> oh, the cool. sad story. You always, always in my mind, no matter what I do, inside my breath, inside my step, inside my every move, because you are my sunny lights, because you are my mood, you will be always in my mind. I know this, I do, and nothing, nothing can be changed. Just death can take away. You will be always in my life. My heart will die with you. My biggest dream and biggest wish be always in your mind. Live in your heart. Be just for you and feel this anytime. You always, always in my mind. Sometimes I think it's dream, but this is love and this is true. And really, me and you. Mm. All right, come on, come on, let's go. Yes. But don't kill yourself, applaud. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know. see that? And you thought nobody was thank here. You. Very I good, know, thank I you, thank sure. you very much. How come when I'm on, you give me the crickets? What? He <laughs> gives me, cr give me the crickets. A little oh. later. Oh, okay. All right. So you, uh, what? You drinking again, huh? Yeah, no. I drinking again, so again and again. What? You had all. I not feel any Russian vodka inside this, so I tried there to. Isn't it's called water. Did you put couple drops? It's vodka, yeah. water. Or, oh, oh, it's virgin one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's virgin one. Like Mary likes to drink virgin martini. Yes. So uh, what? Uh, what? You have any words to a song? Yeah, I do have words. You want me sing? I don't know. I. Okay. Well, are you, are you an alto? Yeah, I will. I mean, I know it's kind of a little bit sad maybe, but a lot of them kind of sad because most of them related to my husband again and it's some of them sad. Uh, I remember that it was very hard time for me because, you know, um, like everything feels for me like stopped since this poor moment. And it's take me for a little while to get back to recovery and realize that life going on and mm -hmm. I have to live, I have some reason to live. So uh, I write some songs that calling Angel You For Me. What was that? Angel You For Me. Uh, we got three minutes. Three minutes, okay. Angel You For Me. From now, Angel You For Me. If you can see, if you can feel, angel you for me. I not remember what exactly happened at the day. When you, my baby, slowly, slowly walked away. I don't remember how I still alive without you. I only try, angel you for me, from now angel you for me, if you can see, if you can feel, angel you for me. It's enough. <laughs> get those, come on, let's give her. Huh? Okay, the kid, we're, get, I, all right, there they are, all right. They, <laughs> They stepped out for a moment. You know, okay. yeah, thank you, thank you. Very good, excellent. So in, in, in the last minute 49, what would you like to talk about? Uh, wearing glasses in your hair so you see Yes, better? I know what I want to talk. Yes. First of all, I want to say that, that we met in some day in Concord, you and Mary and me. That's it's right. meant to be. Probably God wants us to you know, meet each other and some exchange things. And I appreciate you, Ed. First of all, thank you so much for offering this, for singing me something, for inviting to TV show or whatever you do for me. And thank you so much for Mary. She absolutely lovely lady. I love you too uh, for everything. And I have a very, very small gift for you and for Mary. I know you like uh, popcorn. Yes. And you like a uh, pen because you write all the time. I this always pen write. have a Russian. Looks Russian. 
special, uh, not matryoshka, but boy matryoshka, who is a special thing there. So I don't know what his name, but it's special pen for you, and this is for you too. Thank you. Oh, I think it a very, very nice person, and he deserved it, and I appreciate it. Certainly. My Thank heart. you very much. <laughs> I know you're going to share with everyone yeah, now. Tell you popcorn. Right now. By the way, I like popcorn in America. First time I tried popcorn in America, mm -hmm. and I loved it. See that? I never, I never, never eat it popcorn mm -hmm. ever. They, ha they have it there. We okay. have, but uh, it wasn't. But, you know, uh, with American butter. Exactly. Yeah. Another thing, what I want to tell is that uh, I want to say thank you so much for God, I guess. Yes, it is. That I am. Uh, in America, and I meet nice people, and no matter how much trouble I had in my life, it was hard life and hard everything, but I still thank America for giving me opportunity for be there and show my skills and everything. I thank God and everyone. Thank you so much. All right. It was a lovely time with you, too. Let's get around. It's just Sonia Perkins, everybody. All right. Yeah, not my name, not my phone, please. To I'm, no one, I'm remember? not giving your phone number out. You, However, if you know. <laughs> yeah, you not ask personal life about it. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, it, it's it. 20 minutes. You missed it. What? You missed question to ask. I did. Are we out or We're out. Uh -huh. 20 minutes? You're not asking about personal things. Well, am I supposed to? No. Yes, yeah, supposed to. You said I'm going to ask. So. You, what do you mean, supposed? You didn't want me to. <laughs> I was just joking. It's going to be cut it anyway. Oh, that's But you worry. It's personal. not going to be. No, this won't be cut. It will split it into two halves. No, it's time zero. It's over. Uh -huh. But it's 20 minutes, so. Okay. Uh, oh, it won't, it won't be on the So we're looking for sponsors for uh, book and sponsors for music and for dance and for everything. We're looking now for people. That's right. So dial 1 800 911. I know this one, 911. Yeah. <laughs> we'll show it on the, the 12th of July and the 26th. Okay. Because there's a leftover one. Make sure that I have CD too, yes? I will have a CD. Well, uh, uh, let's speak to the doctor. I, I mean, I can, you said to me, bring me DVD and you will put on it? Or? What, what the hell is this? Microphone, I guess, what you think. <gasps> Did he pin this to me? Yes, he pinned it I to you. I can't see on my collar. Ah, uh, you cannot. You must go with this now. I'm going to leave with this, Nick. Forever. Forever and ever. <laughs> cherish it. I know. Hey, Nick, where did you... Oh. <laughs> what off? You just pulled it off. Are you going to wrap up the interview and send it back to the studio, or are you just going to fuss with your mic? Uh-huh. You're right. <laughs> Keep I'm going to fuss with my mic. Oh, what? What do you mean? Hold it. Time out. You never ended the interview. It just kind of... Oh. See? Stopped. Well, because we hit this 20 minutes. Oh. All right. But you gotta say, okay, thanks for coming. It was nice talking to you. We're going back to the studio. I'm so sorry. Put your mic back on. Okay. Well, come yeah. on, somebody. You're losing skills. I would like to uh, mention. No, it's it. It's it. Where the hell are they going? To your. This one. Oh. I not one move because my microphone gonna be. And it falls off. I know. He said to me, not move. That's why I'm not moving. Oh, I'm paying attention to 20 minutes. Yeah. Well, thank you, son. You're you not ask questions what I ask you to ask me. What, your personal <laughs> one? <laughs> yeah, we're looking sponsors, did you tell us? Oh, yeah, we want, yeah. We want, send in those uh, resumes with your financial <laughs> statements. <laughs> thank you so much, it's perfect. <laughs> I don't think, yeah, we did that. I don't want to get too far. Okay, Sonia, Th <laughs> thank you, Sonia, for being here. It's wonderful having you. And you must come back again. My pleasure. Okay. I had a lot of fun, and thank you so much for inviting me. No problem. It was enjoyable. Okay. And now back to our previously attached program. We're back. Wasn't that good? <laughs> <laughs> Wipe that smirk off your face. <laughs> <laughs> we have a big audience today, four people. Paid attendance, four. No, and so now we have a few minutes to go. It'll be short because we have other things to do. Now, what did you want to interest them with? Oh, we have, we have some, some this day in history stuff. Yeah, well, all right, here's Ju You go. Ju thank you. July 9th, I know everybody's waiting for this. 1776, what a name for a play. George Washington orders the Declaration of Independence to be read to 
members of the Continental Army in Manhattan, just outside the uh, uh, music, uh, Radio City Music Hall. They had to put it up for that. And uh, this is, while this is going on, thousands of British troops on Staten Island prepare for the Battle of Long Island. Now, this wasn't too small. But fortunately, the Verrazano's Bridge had not been built yet. Thank God. Thank you. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Try one. Um, today in history, in 1804, former Sec United States Secretary of the Treasur Treasury, Alexander Hamilton, dies a day after being shot in a duel. Well, they shouldn't have had a oh. duel. What is it? Cut it out in there. <laughs> What are you doing? You better have, give me some crickets here. Come on. Well, that's, that was stupid. The duel? No. <laughs> Should have 50 paces. All right, what else we got here? This is July 10th. Yep. Uh, what? Oh, 1978. You probably don't. Uh, ABC World News Tonight premieres on ABC. That was on July 10th, 1978. Go ahead. I got July 11th, 1914. Babe Ruth makes his debut in Major League Baseball. As a Red Sox who didn't yeah. stay here because they were stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you little rotten kids, get out of here. <laughs> what else you got there? Um, on off. July 11th, 1889, Tijuana, Mexico was founded. That's a drink, isn't it? What the, a Tijuana brass yeah. came from there. <laughs> what, do you, what do you got? I got a whole what bunch of stuff. Boy, I got nothing uh, 1936, here. the Triborough Bridge in New York City is open to traffic. That's which they changed the name to. I traffic? <laughs> it's the Kennedy? Oh, yeah. Is it? All right. You heard it here first from the audience. Of course, nobody else did, but they heard it here first. <laughs> um, July 11, 1960, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee is first published in the United States. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> Gregory Peck starred in it. Yes. The movie. Mm -hmm. What other days you got there? Uh, July 12th, today. Give me the 12th. You take the 12th. I want to take, yeah, thank you. Now, here's one in 1804, for those of you who remember this. Former U.S. Secretary... You already read I just read, read that, that Get one. Get out of here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 1862, the Medal of Honor is authorized by the United States Congress. That's the last thing they've ever done, isn't it? I think so. Jeez. All right. It's they, they just hate each other, I'll tell you. Where, where, where July 11, 1962, the first transatlantic satellite television transmission. Now here's a biggie. You want, when you go back to Europe, read this. 1962, the Rolling Stones performed their first concert at London's Marquee Club, which was turned down at, I don't know, have you ever been there? Oh, go. <laughs> the audience, all right. Okay, and uh, and one, one more. Oh, in 71, the Australian Aborigine flag is flown for the first time. And where is the Aborigine? The Aboriginals? Yeah. They're the native people. Australia. Yeah. Thank you, you just said that. I mean the country. All right. So I hope you enjoyed everything. We'll be back in two weeks with another brilliant, and I mean brilliant interview. All right. Ed Sullivan is dead, but Cohen isn't. And when it comes to weather, Cohen's smart. As New York as you get, his money's on the Mets, which goes to show that Ed to Joe always bets his heart. You'll hear a slick review or two from Nicky. Can't or something, Berg will sing some song. There's weather news and shtick, enough to make you sick. You'll be glad you came.